When you look for your food, you meet amazing people and you visit incredible places. Join me as I go out there, get our food, bring it back, and share it. I'm Chad Breeley, and this is Salt Fresh and Field Outpost. I know that sea salt comes from the ocean, and that it's an essential mineral for human life, but what I don't understand is how exactly it gets from the ocean to me. And why does salt seem like something always at hand, like it's created without people at all? Andrew Shepard started the Vancouver Island Salt Company because his buddy bet him he couldn't. With the use of some steam jacket kettles, some biofuel, and a boiler he's named Paula Abdul, Andrew has managed to pioneer a nation's artisanal salt-making industry, literally from his front yard. Brian is the harvest manager. He takes the salt from the sea and turns it into something for the table. You feel yourself as a farmer. Well, the salt's there, right? We just have to get it out of here. We have to get it into the package. So we don't, we don't really make anything at all. It's all natural. Well, you're doing something, though. I mean, well, we're, we're, we're working real hard, but we, yeah, like, I, I, I never made a grain of salt in my life. That'll take us about 45 minutes or so at that pace. So after heavy filtering, what we do is we start to concentrate the water. So to concentrate the water, we fill the pots up, boil it down, fill it up, boil it down, fill it up, boil it down. We do that until um, we actually start to see salt starting to split out of the water. And this is what happens. How long did it take you to get that recipe? We do it very much by feel and by look. And then the fleur de sel, you know, beautiful. A little bit more crunchy. This is actually, believe it or not, because it appears drier and it's more flaky, it actually has a higher moisture content. So when you're cooking with it, like if you put it on top of a piece of meat, the moisture in the meat's not gonna break down the salt. It'll actually still be there and give you a little bit of that crunchy texture. Pump it in, boil it down, skim, strain, and repeat. Now that I know how sea salt is made, I'm gonna take it to someone who knows what to do with it. Peter Zambri began cooking as a young boy. His highly touted Victoria restaurant is his workshop, his laboratory, and his altar. Salt, in many forms, is ever-present in his kitchen. Chad? Peter? Got some salt for me? I do. Did you learn how to make this, or did you make uh, this? I can't, uh, I did not make this. And the, well, these guys, huh? they don't make anything. That's, that's their perspective on it. They yes. just happen to be able to process and to bring it together. It. To facilitate Well, to facilitate this, but in, in order to facilitate what you do. That's uh, how I see myself, too. It's kind of like a, a middle person, mm -hmm. right? I get, um, I get a product, I manipulate it a little bit, and uh, the final judge is, is obviously the customer. sit together because of salt, each of us from unique perspective. Salt binds as it molds. 
I've learned that we don't really make salt, but we can notice it, we can treasure it, and we can coax it to the plate. It is in us always, the ocean providing an unending supply, just waiting to be noticed, retrieved, and shared.